Hi, and welcome back to Fresh BCSC Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you a tutorial on one of my favorite tools for staying organized and for student engagement, and that tool is Toby Mini. Toby Mini is an extension for Google Chrome, so it works on Chromebooks and anywhere where you have a Google Chrome web browser. So you need to be in Chrome to be able to use it. The first thing is you need to go to the Chrome web store and add the extension to be able to use it. So if you just type in Toby Mini, it will pop up and allow you to do that. Or if you go to the Chrome Web Store, that's where you can add it. And you would click Add if you didn't already have it added. Now, the way that Toby works is it allows you to save a collection of all of your different browser tabs. And when you save a collection, you can give it a title, and you can add notes to it, and you can share that collection with someone else. So maybe if I'm a teacher, I can share a collection of lesson tabs and resources with a co-teacher so they can help me plan. Um, if I am a student, maybe I can send those to my teacher as a part of a project. It really just helps you make better use of all the resources that you're using in an efficient, organized way. Plus, what's also awesome is that if you find yourself using the same tabs over and over again, whether it's opening up your learning management system or your Google Drive or a certain website every day, if you save that collection in Toby, you can open all of those tabs in just one click if you've saved it into Toby. So Toby shows up here as part of your extensions in your Chrome web browser. So to open Toby, the first time you use this, you will have to add an account. I always use my same Google account, so it's consistent. And I know the password to it, and don't forget. But you will have to do that the first time you try to use this tool. After you've set up your account and it recognizes it in Toby, what you'll do is to save all of your tabs, you'll do save session. And once you've done that, it will show you all the different tabs you had saved here. So I didn't have a whole lot, so I'm actually not going to use that one as an example. But if I had lots of different tabs here, I can rename it by double clicking here. It automatically gives it the name of the day and time that you save the collection. But I can change that if I need to. I can open those tabs right here which is pretty amazing to save time. To share it, it gives me a link that I can just send to someone else. They don't even have to have Toby to be able to see that. It will just show them my different tabs. Or if they have Toby, I can share them here. Other options here, I can add notes. I can add tags to this. So if I search in my Toby collections, I can find all the ones that I have tagged as lesson planning or resource or to-do lists, anything like that. Or I can just delete my collection. And that is how you can use Toby Mini. Hopefully it helps you save time like it's helped me. It is one of my favorite resources. 